270 is the magic number, so how do you get there? Assuming the rest of the electoral map follows typical election trends, the campaigns are focused on seven swing states. And the easiest path for Vice President Kamala Harris goes through the Rust Belt, or the so-called Blue Wall. If she were to capture Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, she gets to 270, and she wins, even if Donald Trump gets the remaining four swing states. But with such a thin margin of error, even just one Blue Wall state going to Donald Trump would mean he wins the White House. They both spent time in Wisconsin this week. Both candidates will be returning to the Rust Belt in the final days of both of their campaigns. Now, for Donald Trump, he wants to win the southern states, North Carolina and Georgia. If he sweeps both of those states, it gives him a lot more options in his path to 270. Getting Pennsylvania, that would get it done for Donald Trump, 270 votes right there. If not Pennsylvania, one other Rust Belt state, 266, that means he would need either Nevada or Arizona, if he gets them both, well over 270. So it starts with winning both of those southern states. Both candidates were also in North Carolina this week. And then there's the Sun Belt. In 2020, Joe Biden won both Nevada and Arizona by very slim margins. But right now, the former president, Donald Trump, is polling either up or tied in both of those states. If he were to win Nevada, Arizona, and the southern states, he would still need at least one Rust Belt state. He's only at 268. For the vice president, if she were to repeat Joe Biden's victories in Nevada, Arizona, get North Carolina and Georgia, she could lose the blue wall but still win the White House. A lot of different scenarios, a lot of math to consider as we get down to the final few days of election season. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.